Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to pick a winner of the Arcade 1-Up Giveaway! Hello everybody, it's me, Nate, aka Devil Dog, and I'm back for the finale day y'all been waiting for! The Arcade 1-Up Giveaway winner! This is going to be a double whammy video. If you see next to me, I have received my version of my arcade one-up cabinet. Oddly enough, most of the other ones besides the Street Fighter ones were delayed until like October 14th, 15th, something like that. Fortunately, I was able to get mine in today at launch day. Go figure. But don't worry, the winner of this contest will receive one shipped straight to their damn door of the Street Fighter 2. And basically this is what I'm going to do. We're going to have a nice little unboxing video. I'm going to take this out of the box, show you everything you need to know about these arcade 1-Up cabinets. The total weight of it, the size of it, the structure, the quality of the building, um, how you uh, put it together. Um, basically, I'm even going to like show you the inside of the joystick, the buttons and all that, so you see what you're actually getting when you're buying one of these. Except for the winner. Whoever wins it is just going to get one of these anyhow. I don't care if they sell it on eBay for all I care. And um, I'm going to show you everything on this bad boy, including firing it up and playing some rounds in Street Fighter. And then at the end, I will draw the winner. But let's go ahead and open this up and see what all you get. All right, as you see, I've lowered the camera and I brought this down because this box weighs about 62 to 63 pounds. It's got handles on the side, plastic handles, so it's actually not that hard to actually pick up. I mean, let me show you something here. Just so you actually know, it's, uh, it's not that bad. It, it does have a good amount of weight to it, but it's nothing unless uh, you're really weak or, you know, old or have a health issue that you should have any problems with actually uh, being able to get this damn thing open. All right. It seems to come in multi-part boxes, just so you know. You got one box here. I'm assuming this is probably going to be the LCD screen. Okay, I've noticed right now some of the styrofoam is broken. I don't know if that means this got damaged in shipping. Okay. And uh, each piece that you get is clearly lettered. That way it actually helps you put it together. And you get a bag of all your important stuff, your power cords, your uh, joystick ball, two joystick balls, screws, and I'm taking instructions. Hopefully they're in English. Peace out next here. Oh. Look, it's French, fragile. Once again, the styrofoam, the styrofoam smashed in this. So, hopefully nothing got broke. But the styrofoam has gotten smashed. Okay. Not return to store. This is obviously the LCD monitor. Oddly enough, it's got this faceplate plastic like attached to it. Hopefully, it's not permanently attached. They've got it bolted on, but it's a uh, Phillips head screwdriver. So if you got any crap uh, underneath this, uh, since it's straight um, bolted to the TV screen, you can actually unscrew it and take it off. Fortunately. Okay, this is your. Uh, 17 inch monitor you got the artwork of all your street fighter characters and on the back as you can see this is the main central unit in here is the computer chips that run this the emulation and all that and you get your nice little cord here this actually plugs straight into the bottom of the joystick component area so i'm actually going to go and take the screwdriver and open this and show you what the inside of this looks like okay 
And here is the entire brain system of this whole setup. You got your computer board with the wires that are hooked directly into it. That's basically everything that runs this system. You got your little computer chip emulation system. So it does look like it's a little bit more complicated than you would expect. But in the end, I'm sure people will be able to hack this pretty quickly. Oh, I get this box out here. What is in this? Ah, this is your arcade stick setup. Comes with snacks. <laughs> uh, this is super, super light. It's super, super light. You got your your buttons. Actually, you got pretty good uh, feel to them. Actually, the joysticks sound pretty good too. Um, and you got your built-in speaker right here. This is a mono setup. It doesn't have surround sound or nothing. You've got your on-off switch and your volume control that has three volumes. You have your um, pretty much super loud, medium, and off. That's it. And as you see on the back, it's cheap plastic. The back is cheap plastic. Now I'm going to go ahead and open this up and show you guys what the inside of this looks like. Okay, once you take out the back, this is basically your component setup for your arcade board and your buttons and your switches and everything. And you have the main connector here where that uh, one plug plugs right into here, and that's it. You have a plug into this and then a wire that plugs into the uh, back of the one TV part that goes straight into the wall. You got your speaker, your uh, buttons. Now, I'm not an old, cool, uh, old school arcade player, so I do not know what kinds of buttons these are. Um, they don't look that bad, but if you were wondering if you're able to actually switch out joysticks and buttons, as you can see here, um, the buttons snap in and out and um, the joysticks are screwed in. So you should have no problem in updating this if you have different sort of joysticks or buttons that you want to actually do if you want to modify this thing. Next up is your arcade one up owner's manual and also your steps. They got some pretty decent steps. Ah. Is the side panels. Okay. It does appear as if both sides have actually been bagged. And then you have your back particle board piece there. Nothing really special there. It appears as if the artwork has survived, so that's good. Be careful. Be careful. These are slippery. They can slide out of your hands very, very easily. Um, whatever sort of sticker they use or whatever, it's really glossy and really, really slippery. All right. And that's basically what the artwork is on each side. It is, uh, it is your basic issue particle board. So if you were expecting actual wood, it's not. It's basically just going to be like an entertainment center, which, you know, my entertainment center is actually pretty durable. So once I get this thing completely together, then I'll see how durable it really is. All right, everybody. Now it's time for the fun part, actually putting this together. I'm going to have it a little bit sped up for you.
everybody, here it is in all its glory. This is the Street Fighter II Carcade 1-Up Cabinet. Now, as for the overall build quality of it, I would have to say it's not bad. Just like I said earlier, it's kind of similar to what you'd get with like a piece of Ikea furniture. As long as you tighten it nice and tight, but don't over tighten it because you can break it because it's particle born, it's pretty durable. The only thing I've noticed with playing this is one, there's not enough weight to it, okay? Now, it is only at 62, 63 pounds. That way it's easily mobile, you know, so you can pick it up and move it around, which is good. Uh, but the thing I've noticed is when you're playing it, it kind of rocks. So that can be kind of a pain in the ass if you really think about it, is the fact that it does rock. Now, my floor might not be like flush, that might be why, um, but all in all, it's not a minor inconvenience, but it's enough. Um, now, the other thing I'd have to say is there are parts on this that came that are kind of scuffed. There's some scuff marks on the side. Uh, there's uh, no chipping. I didn't receive this with any sort of chips on it anywhere. Um, but all in all, it does have some scuff marks here and there, and that's pretty much from it being shipped. Um, they do a very decent job of packing it, but in the end. But here it is. Let's fire this thing up and see if this is actually any good or not. Now, another thing I have to point out is this. Ooh got a pretty good amount of voice uh, sound to it. Like I said, it does have a volume control, only three volume, and you cannot change the difficulty on these games. That kind of sucks. Um, but honestly, I think uh, there's actually a nick taken out of the front of this right here, and I can see this, even though it looks like it's like uh, printed on, like a sticker, laminated sticker, I can see this wearing off with wear and tear. They say it won't, but what I recommend you do is uh, go to your local auto body shop that has wraps and have them do a wrap on this. That way you can protect it or, uh, you know, honestly coat it with uh, like some uh, thick varnish or something and let it dry. That way you have a nice thick uh, scratch proof thing that'll save the uh, artwork because it is a very nice uh, machine. But um, don't worry, I will move it in closer so you can actually see this. But now let's actually move this in close and let you see how this thing actually plays. But, you know, as you can see, I'm sorry I can't get it any clearer than this, any closer. And the way my camera is and the way the screen is, it just goes all white. But I can tell you it is clean, it's very clean, very crisp looking on its graphics. Now let's listen to how well it sounds. Let's go ahead and play a game on here. I suck at Street Fighter, by the way, so I'm probably going to get my butt handed me. I swear I actually suck at this. This is the first time I've done any good on it. <laughs> But the control is nice, the buttons are very good and clicky, the analog stick, the joystick is actually fairly decent. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not going to be an arcade quality replication. I mean, you got to think they had to cut corners. But honestly, it's very playable. I'm not noticing any sort of lag with the button pressing. It seems to be fairly adequate. Oh, he's going to kick my butt, I know it. Come on. Yes! I beat him! But it has an on-off switch right up here to turn it on and off. Um, all in all, like I said, it is actually a very, very good build quality system here. Um, like I said, it rocks a little bit, though. And like I said, I don't know if that might be anything else. And as you can see, I'm sitting in a chair, and it's at the perfect height 
uh, to actually play um, sitting down. Standing up, you would need the riser, um, but honestly, don't buy a riser. Make your own or just sit on a damn table or something. Save you some time and money. But now that we've done this and I've showed you this and I've really showed you deep about how the build quality of this item is, how good it is, I wish I could show you the visuals a little bit better than this. Um, like I said, with the 17 inch monitor, um, I mean, I don't see any problems with any sort of uh, pixel tearing on it. No issues at all anywhere on the screen. Uh, it might have been like a defective model the one guy had. Mine has no problems with it. In the end, it's actually a pretty good thing. Is it worth $300? That's up to you to decide. I mean, you can always go out and just get a main cabinet with a lot more uh, games in it. But, you know, for honestly, for the charm of how this thing looks, how adorably cute it is, and the fact that it is a very good representation, one-fourth scale model, um, arcade version of the arcade classic original, don't get me wrong, it is emulation, but it's pretty good arcade game emulation. And in the end, I would have to say, it's uh, up to you, but I would have to say, it's not that bad. It's pretty decent. I think $300 is a bit much. I think if these were $150 to $200, that'd be a lot more uh, of a better price. Um, but in the end, for what you're getting, this is actually a pretty damn neat, a neat thing, and I know they're going to be hard. But now on to the fun thing. It's that time, people. I know I had you waiting for a long time, but I just had to do a build on this. I had to do a unboxing and show you the overall quality and everything you got with this arcade one-up machine. But in the end, it's time to pick the winner of the arcade one-up giveaway. And the way I'm gonna do this is, whoever wins, I will contact you to get your shipping address, and I will have them mail one of these to you. It'll take a couple days to get there, but considering most of these were delayed until mid-October, you'll probably be getting one before most people do, unless you just were able to actually pull one off and get one like I did. But in the end, here is the winner of the Arcade 1-Up Giveaway. Congratulations to John Galt 113 MathGoodies.com random number generator chose you on the 100th spin. Congratulations once again to John Galt 113 Congratulations to the winner of the Arcade 1-Up giveaway. I want to say thank you for everyone who subscribes to my channel. I want to say thank you for everyone who entered this uh, particular video. Don't worry, if you did not win, I will be having other contests in the future. And remember, anyone who wins one of my contests cannot win again. That way, every contest I have is guaranteed a new winner each and every time. Once again, a big congratulations to the winner and a thank you for everyone who participated in my contest. Leave in the comments below if you like this video or not make sure to give a shout out to the winner it's only fair to be respectful and actually be a, a, you know a, a good sport if you want if you didn't win or not and remember I always end my videos by saying have fun play hard and remember people the devil is in the details peace out